here in downtown Tournai. Uh, typical Belgian weather here, pretty wet, pretty cloudy. Uh, it's pretty cold also, so yeah. I'm, uh, I'm gonna try to be fast because I'm already kind of freezing. The last video I left you, I was waking up on a beach. Uh, perfect time for the birds to come eat breakfast as the mosquitoes were not asleep yet. Then I got back on the bike and headed straight southwest uh, to Detroit. When I arrived in Detroit, I had a pretty unexpected surprise, very pleasant. Uh, the Ambassador Bridge, it's very impressive and beautiful. It goes uh, all the way across the Detroit River and the Canadian border. Uh, yeah, on, on the bridge you have the custom service, so I had to cross the border and check with US Custom. Once again, they were not as angry as people picture them and the girl who, who asked me about visas and stuff was pretty nice and was pretty interested about the trip. I don't have pictures of the bridge because I was asked not to take pictures because of custom and all so yeah and also in the middle of traffic. So I did a little tour of Detroit, there are some pretty nice buildings uh, as the city bankrupt a uh, little a few years ago, uh, the downtown area is very quiet. Some people told me that some other area are more lively and better to check. But the part I saw, there was very nice building, old buildings and with a lot of style. But yeah, it was very quiet. Then I headed back west on my way to Chicago. I didn't reach Chicago before nightfall. Actually, at nightfall I was around Lake Michigan. So going along the lake by night, I had to find some place on the side of the road to uh, sleep a little bit before I reach Chicago. So next morning I arrive in Chicago. I book two nights in an inn as I did in Toronto uh, went for a nap because the sleep I had on the road was not that good and then I went for a little tour of Chicago wandering around the city on the skateboard at night it was pretty nice uh, there was two encounters that I had one with an angry patrolman on his vehicle uh, who told me to get uh, out of the place I was unless he would put me to jail and some of the people uh, nicer people who wanted to try the skateboard and all and were pretty friendly you know and also yeah it was a good experience <laughs> Riding around Chicago, I didn't know yet much about Donald Trump and I wish it had stayed that way, but I got to see uh, his tower, like uh, Trump Towers in Toronto and in Chicago. So yeah, I passed by it and yeah, didn't even notice it kinda, but no, I see it on the pictures and yeah, whatever.
traveled into the future. The fu future? On the next day, I spend most of the time on the bike because downtown area, the downtown area is pretty expensive to park and doesn't have places for motorcycle. So yeah, I went around the city looking for clothes and shopping. I went to the west side, which is supposed to be the poorest area of which is the spo uh, which is the poorest area of Chicago. It's supposed to be but during the day it was it was uh, okay during uh, the shopping I did and all I arranged a meeting with a Turkish girl uh, we had a drink and then went for a motorcycle ride she gave me a touristic tour right while I was giving her the ride and explained me about architecture and buildings in Chicago it was a pretty nice afternoon the next morning I quickly visited Millennium, Millennium Park where the famous bean is. It's a very nice park, There is, uh, aside from the bean there is all, all sorts of modern arts. It's very active, very busy place, lots of people hanging around, kids and all. It's, it's a very nice place, a very nice park. Uh, then I headed back to the inn. And packed all my stuff on the motorcycle and head up head headed up to Milwaukee. to Milwaukee was pretty uneventful uh, along the Lake Michigan but as usual almost no way to see the lake because of all the mansion and very nice house around the lake. Arriving in Milwaukee I witnessed my first road rage and very busy people on their wheels and not very careful so that was something per per peculiar about that place I was sleeping at a couch surfing place uh, with four other couch surfing three girls and a guy uh, I didn't get the chance to speak there with them much because they arrived quite late uh, I actually went on a uh, in a bar for Taco Tuesday and met some people there that were very nice and I had a nice evening then I met the couchsurfing people the girl were pretty shy and pretty young and the guy was nice and another road tripper but with four wheels mm -hmm. 